What's going on guys, Greek Freak here, and in this video we are going to be talking about an NBA trade rumor to start off this year of 2019. Now, I hope you guys had a happy New Year's and great Christmas and all that. Uh, I know that I've been sort of lackluster as far as uploading content, but I'm going to be trying to get that back settled out once I get my schedule settled at the beginning of the year. So let's get into this NBA trade rumor. Now, the NBA trade rumor now is going to be surrounding the Dallas Mavericks point guard in Dennis Smith Jr. Now, Dennis Smith Jr., now the organization itself has been denying the fact that it's looking for trades for its point guard. Now, obviously, this isn't a trade that has to happen by any means immediately, but Dennis Smith Jr., obviously, with the rise of Luka Doncic at his position of point guard, is very much putting the Dallas Mavericks in a situation that they can be looking for trades within these types of players. Now, as we all know, the main thing is that I would have to say there's a couple teams that would be the main protagonist as far as to attempt to trade for a Dennis Smith Jr. Now, these two teams that I'm going to be mentioning will be the Phoenix Suns, as I mentioned in lots of videos with point guard trade rumors, just due to the fact they're looking for a point guard. They don't have one, and of course, as every team knows, that's the one team that I feel like if somebody was to contact, they would answer that phone call. But as much as we're hearing, the Phoenix Suns are not really offering anything major, especially with what they do have with their great draft pick selections, and of course their great young talent that they do have on that roster. So obviously they're not offering at this moment anything major, and that's the reason why we're not hearing too much as far as the Dallas Mavericks hearing openly that they are going to be attempting a trade rumor. Now, the obvious reason why this would obviously, why this would make some good sense would be the fact that Dennis Smith Jr. has actually struggled out a little bit as far as what we would be expecting from this year. Now, obviously he is a very athletic point guard and was to be noted as probably one of the more athletic point guards as far as in the recent drafts. And of course, he did have a pretty good rookie season, averaging 15 points per game, five assists. And just with that, we know the fact he had small minutes, so averaging around 29 minutes per game. So nothing major as far as minutes. And of course, on a struggling Dallas Mavericks team, that didn't really hold too much talent with the players such as Harrison Barnes being out for almost half the season with injuries. And Dirk Nowitzki, of course, being in and out of the lineup as well. Uh, this season, though, as we all do know, Luka Doncic obviously could be very much Rookie of the Year with the performance that he's having, his ability to take over games, and of course him being the point guard that he is, really does need the ball in his hands, and the type of player that Dennis Smith Jr. is seems to be a player that needs the ball in his hands as well, as his stats have actually decreased from last season, averaging only 13 points per game and around 3 assists, almost around 4. But as far as that... As much as we do know, those are not big drastic changes in numbers by any means. But as we all know, you having two point guards usually never works out too well in any means way. And when you have a younger, more better player that's making an instant impact as he is, and with somebody that's Dennis Smith Jr.'s trading a value that could be for many teams, this would make plenty of sense. Now, the other team that I was going to mention in this video is going to be the Detroit Pistons. Now the Detroit Pistons make plenty of sense for this for uh, good reasons and this reason would be right here that they have been known as far as in NBA trade rumors to be attempting to trade for a Markel Fultz and with the news and speculations of rumors that Markel Fultz may not be able to play this season we have to put into perspective the fact that they are maybe looking for players such as that. So if the price is not that deep as far as a players in Dennis Smith Jr.'s price range, the Detroit Pistons may be attempting a move to try to get a player such as that to add young, sustainable talent to that type of team. Now, like I mentioned before at the very beginning of this video, a trade does not have to happen here. This is obviously the Dallas Mavericks listening to trade rumors. Now, obviously they're not going out looking for a trade, knowing that there needs to be a trade by any means, as we do with players that demand trades having one year left on their deal. This is a player that has plenty of years left on his deal, 
on a rookie contract so very much easy to move and are just listening to hear if there's any offers that are going to be big enough now if i were to say so i'd say that the phoenix suns would have the of course best chance to get it and just due to the fact of what they can offer but if they don't offer anything amazing i wouldn't be it would not be crazy to expect that dennis Smith jr will stay on the dallas mavericks for now and they try to figure out a way to use both of the players for at least for right now but at this moment guys tell me what your guys' thoughts are on this do you think the fact that the dallas mavericks should trade dennis smith jr do you think they should keep dennis smith jr or do you think the fact that luka Doncic and dennis smith jr can't work out and if you think so what team do you think he will be traded to or should be traded to but guys tell me what your guys' thoughts are on that and if you enjoyed the video make sure that you leave a like and subscribe to become part of the greek army today and as always this is sparta Thank you.